Yeah, hello and welcome to another quick update about Solana. Just a quick one um, to let you know that we reached the target. Uh, one of the targets I gave you yesterday in the late video from yesterday, I made you aware of the target for the next move here um, to the downside where we can expect support. That was the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, a very likely support level here at $32.30. We have reached that exactly now. So here, the price has in this current scenario now a chance to reverse to the upside. That is its first opportunity it now has. Um, next level would be 29.46. That is the 78.6% FIB level. If you lose the current level, this will be the next level. And then should we even lose this, there is a chance to reverse to the upside at 27.74. Now, this would be the 88.7% FIB level, not too likely to actually reach it, not in a bullish scenario, but if we reach it, um, we should not drop below it. If we drop below it, then it will indicate a lot of weakness in the chart and will, in my opinion, make it much more likely that we are also going to break below the wave five low here from 25.65 from the 14th of June and then we will make lower lows and possibly reach my original target of 19 to 21 dollars to finish off the overall correction. So at the moment we can still count this bullish yeah. and I made some changes to the wave count yesterday that I explained in my last video. So if you're surprised to see a different wave count here now to what I had before with the truncated wave arrangement which I've now taken off the chart then check out my last video from yesterday there I do explain why I changed this wave count. Um, for now, we can still follow this and it is adhering very well to it. It's come down to the 61.8% FIB level. Again, from here, it now has a chance. Best evidence that we get to finish off this, um, that the wave two is finished, would be a move above $39.86. That would be the best evidence we can get as soon as possible. And then, of course, even better would be a break above 42.64 here, that resistance level, the wave one high. Um, and this wave count would imply that we soon get into a wave three to the upside, so that we had here a one, we're coming down in the two, and the wave three should be the next one. I can also give you a target for that, even though it's very early, we first need to see if we really get a bullish reaction, because at the moment we don't have one. Yeah, so um, the 61.8% FIB level that I just talked about, of course, we'll only hold if we see a bullish reaction to it, like a green candle, um, something like a bullish candlestick or so. For now, we don't see that. So target for that next wave three up would be $59.71. Therefore, um, that, that move would go through this very, very important resistance level that I called out now a few times here, the wave four high at $48.41. If we go above that level, it would invalidate one of the bearish possibilities we have here. Um, and this is just a crucial level. I've always said that the $48 level or $48.41 will be very important to determine if we're just in a corrective wave here, which means we will come down even lower, or if we are actually in a bullish breakout pattern. For now, we can count this bullish. If anybody is surprised, well, the wave one and the wave one, uh, four overlap here. Again, check out the previous video. That's all acceptable. And um, yeah, but there is no guarantee that this is really reality here, that we are really in a bullish breakout pattern. We can also count this corrective if we wanted to. And in that scenario, then we would come down and make a lower low compared to $25.60. Um, however, to get confirmation or a strong indication that indeed we are not in a breakout pattern here, yeah, that would be a move below here, $26.70, that swing low, and then we are very close anyway to the $25.60 level here, that low from the 14th of June. And if we make a lower low compared to that, then it's pretty much evidence is here that all of this was just a corrective move up and we are now in an impulse to the downside. But I would expect here a reaction to the upside fairly soon. Um, at the moment though, as you can see, there is no bullish reaction. So as long as we don't see here a bullish candlestick formation, we have to focus on lower levels. And um, I gave you the key support levels for that. So I keep you updated about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. 
And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.